level a little bit of the ethos on this page. This man writes this page. How do you feel about him as an author? And there's no necessarily right or wrong answer to this question, but how do you ap approach him as an author? Do you trust him? Do you not trust him? What do you think about him in terms of his moral character? Ryan. There is some sarcasm about the values involved, right? They are willing to um, disregard blatant racism in favor of taxpayers and voters. Excellent. I, I want you to pay attention to everything that Ryan just said, because Ryan is totally on track with it. Ryan says, I get a sense that he hates racism. I get a sense that this writer um, uses sarcasm because he feels very angry about racism. I get a sense that this guy has certain liberal sensibilities in which he believes this thing is uh, an artifact from the past and should be eradicated. And therefore, that makes Ryan what? You trust him? OK, makes you trust him. There are audiences who would read this, by the way, and trust him less for that reason. Yes, there are still holdouts in the United States who would read that and say, uh, he's some um, liberal commie pinko. I don't care about what this guy has to say because, well, they probably use some, some harsh racial terms as well. So Ryan, as a person, is attracted to the writing and the thought, whereas others might be repelled by it. Therefore, Bissinger has chosen his audience. Bissinger has chosen people like Ryan. Bissinger has chosen them to listen to his message because the claim of ethos appeals to him and might reject others. Morgan, you had your hand up. What were you thinking? Absolutely. And if somebody deals with a problem like that bluntly, um, sort of nakedly, just absolutely no pretensions, but sensitively at the same time, if you feel that this person is doing it sensitively and that can lend to the respect that you have and the trust that you build. First page of this chapter, that's it. What's he trying to do with the chapter black and white? What's the purpose of black and white? Uh, Emily. Like the Discuss the racism in Odessa, absolutely. Mitchell. And who do you think, <laughs> parties, <laughs> um, you don't have to put quotation marks around parties. Um, who do you think, Mitch, might benefit the most from our sympathy through this chapter? Which, which character, which person from Friday Night Lights might benefit the most from some of our sympathy at this point? Yeah, which one? Sydney? Sorry, Abby. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting there. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Absolutely. And therefore, we feel that Booby Miles is in a position that he did not create. So, yes, that might develop sympathy for the. Um, black participants in this overall situation and mostly focused on Booby Miles. How does Bissinger want you to feel about racism in Odessa? If I am about to talk to you about uh, racism in a certain place, and I intentionally construct my message such that I make you angry for the very first moment, 
I've turned on an emotional response in you that will color everything else that you hear from there on out. Everything else that you read in that chapter will be colored by this first page. You will now have an emotional response to everything in that chapter that will be frustration and anger and sympathy because of the way that he crafted the opening message. And taking a look at that and understanding that first page helps you understand what he's doing as an author, unraveling all the ways that he's crafting that message. Because he's not simply making a logical argument. He's doing a lot more as well. And now you have a little bit more of an understanding of what's going on in that chapter, and a little bit more ownership over it. We only have a couple minutes left in the class. And the next phase of the discussion involves you looking at a number of different non-Friday Night Lights examples and sort of applying the same an analysis to those examples. But we'll save that for Monday, and we'll, we'll start with that on Monday. Um, open the floor to any last questions about the concepts. Your responses are telling me fairly well that uh, um, that seems pretty clear. And if it does, wonderful. We will go to the next step with it.